What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your full body strength workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 60 minute full body strength workout. We're going to be rocking through some compound moves, upper body, lower body, and abs today. Okay, all you need is your water bottle and a sweat towel and a couple sets of dumbbells. I'm gonna be going anywhere between my 15 to probably my 30 pound dumbbells. Curl and press, squats, deadlifts, things like that. So make sure you have your medium range of dumbbells around you and let's jump into the warm up, all right? So, big wide stance. Let's bend one leg at a time in two, one, here we go. Good job, I just wanna jump right into this. I know your time is precious and I appreciate you coming here to train with me today. I know you're going to feel so much better when you're done. Whatever you're thinking about this 60 minute workout, if it's, oh my gosh, this is a long one, or if you love it, either way, we're going to work hard together. So release the fear or anxiety about the duration. Just be in the moment. Okay, one more. Good. Come back into the middle. Hinge down in front. It's a strength based workout here, so don't worry about anything but being strong. Okay, pushing yourself. Great job. Bring your feet in just a little bit closer and let's sit your hips down, chest up. Great job. Push your knees outward, really open up your hips here. Good. And try to lift your chest up. There you go. Push your heels into the ground to come up to standing. And let's sit two more times. And hold. Good. Come on up. Down, up, down. One more up and hold. Good. Swivel left and right. Good. Press it on up. Heels to glutes. A leaf. Good. Three, two, and one. Arms out to the side. Twist and twist. Four, three, two. Come back to the middle and cross right over your chest. Great job. Also, while we're here, I want you to take advantage of the stretch tomorrow right when you wake up or when you get stressed or when you go to bed, it is a better sleep stretch. I did it right before this, I was so relaxed. So now I'm having to hype myself up, but I want you to make sure you get into that stretch tomorrow. Don't wanna miss it. Great job. Take your left heel out front, scoop down and switch. Good, shift your hips back as you scoop. One more. Good, and take your hands down to the floor. Good, down dog position. Pedal your heels. Great work, three, two, one. Tap your left foot up and then your right foot up. Good, little hip drop to get a stretch in. Good, one more each side. Down, and down, and walk it back to your toes. Slowly roll it up. Let's get started, you ready? First move, curl and press. Okay, I want you to go for a curl and close press. All right, so we're here, curl, close press, bring it right back down. I'm using my 15s. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Good, 30 seconds here. We've got a circuit today, so right after this, we're moving on to another exercise. I'll show you when we get there. 10. Three, two, one, great job. Now you drop the press, just curl, okay? Alternating or together, depending on the weight that you have. If you have a weight that you can manage pretty well, let's go both arms together. Four, 
three, two, hammer curls right here. Let's go. Good, chest up. And right after this, we're gonna take just the press, okay? So you've got a curl and press, then just a curl, then just a press. 10 more seconds. Good, four, three, one more. And rest for 15, now you go here, press. Keep it close, okay? I wanna keep that close stance, alternating if you need to. Then we'll go two and three, rounds two and three. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good. Stay moving. 15. Nine. Eight. Good job. Five. Two. One. And rest. Beautiful. We've got two more rounds of that circuit. Okay? If you want to go up, feel free. Okay? I like to shake my hands out. We go in five. Back to curl. Press. Three, two, let's go. Good job. Curl, punch. There we go, 15 more seconds. Eight, five, four. Two, one, all right, there we go. Just the curls now. I'm gonna keep doing them together, okay? Feel free to go alternating if you need to. Four, two, one, let's go. Good work, make sure you don't start the bicep curl with a little backwards kick, okay? What happens there is you get momentum, okay? So if you feel yourself going, eek, curl, take that out. Just come forward. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really Three, asking. two, we'll one, good. And just the close me. press. Then we've got one more round. I'm gonna challenge you, if you can, to go up, and then we move on to some lower body, okay? Here we go, three. Two, one, let's go. Good, keeping it in close right here. Keep your core tight. Good, I'm just adding a little sidestep. Six. And rest, good. Can you go up? Here's your chance. Last round. Curl and press. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and we're off. Curl, punch it up. Good, just the forward motion, don't swing back. So even add a pause at the bottom. Stop, pull forward. Yes, there we go, 10. Five, three, two, rest. Good, anytime you're halfway through a rep, just go ahead and finish it, all right? We've got 15 seconds rest, great work here. We're going on to the curls, if you've moved up, and you need to alternate, go there. If you can stay here, double arm, let's go. Two, one, come on. Pause, pull forward. Good. That's it, 10. Four, 
three, two, one. Good, rest. Okay, close press, and then we're moving on to using the right leg for three exercises. Four, come on, close press. Two, one, let's go. Good. Using your shoulder stabilizers here. Twelve. Good, right up in front. Let's go, seven. Three, two, one. Rest, great job. Go ahead and grab some water. All right, got a little breather. Put this off of here. <laughs> Grab water, you're gonna move on to three exercises using just the right leg, glutes and quads. All right, so we have three exercises I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna hold a dumbbell in my left hand the whole time. Right leg stays, okay? So first move, single leg deadlift. Float it or touch it out back, either one. Right into reverse lunge. Okay, and then the last one, keep the leg here. You're going curtsy, put the dumbbell here, lateral raise. Curtsy, touch, raise. Okay, so the objective there is you're using your glute to lift this dumbbell out to the side, all right? We start first with a deadlift. I'm gonna start with my 25. Okay, and we'll go in eight seconds. Right leg stays, so it does the work. Float the leg if you can. Touch it out back if you need that balance. Two, one, let's go. 30 seconds here. Your hips level, stretch the glute, squeeze it back forward. Two, one, rest, good. All right, 15 seconds rest. You now have a reverse lunge. Keep the right leg right here. Okay, modification is up there. You'll just be staying right here. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, and we're off. You can hold that dumbbell wherever you would like. Good, 10 seconds. Keep your gaze forward, that's it. And rest, good. Dumbbell goes back to the left hand. We do a curtsy, place the dumbbell here, lift it, okay? Think of a glute resistance band, but instead it's just a dumbbell. Three, two, one, come on. Here, and lift. Good, 15. Heel drives to the sky. This one won't lift too high. Three, two, rest. Good. And you've got two more rounds on the right leg. We're gonna work the right leg hard for three rounds. So we're back. Deadlift on the right side. Let's go five. Three, two, one, come on. Fifteen seconds, keep the ribs and the hips together. Stack them, they rotate down with your leg or with your hip. Five. Two, one, good, reverse lunges. Good job. Keep it right here, reverse lunges. Ready? 
three, two, let's go. Come on, right leg, think stronger on the right side. Good work, step back with enough space so that you're not crowding your front leg and your hip can go behind your heel and then we stand up to bring it right back on top your heel. Seven. Two, one, good. One more round, or two more rounds of that circuit. Let's finish round two of your curtsy to lateral lift. Drive the heel, okay? So it shouldn't go too high. Three, two, let's go. Right leg stays, curtsy, and lift. Nice work. Eight, seven, three, two, one. One more round, let's go. One last time through, right leg. Then we're moving on, the right leg rests, the left leg goes to work. Whew. All right, four, three, ready? Two, let's go. Fifteen, good job. Five, one more, three, two, and rest, good. Reverse lunge. Great job. Right leg stays, last round of right leg reverse lunge in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to sit and come straight back up. 13. Seven. Three, two, one. Great work. Whew. All right. Curtsy and lateral lift. Whew. Nice work. Then. We breathe and we do the circuit without the right leg, but on the left leg up next, okay? Let's go. There you go. Good challenge here. Heel lifts. Stay over here as you lift. Good, 15. Four, two, one, and rest. Amazing work, grab some water. Whew. Nice job, we're gonna rest for 30 and then go on to the same circuit on the left leg. I had to think about that for a second. Same circuit on the left side. So left leg will be staying on the deadlift, on the lunge, and on the curtsy lift. Left leg, let's go. Two, one, come on. Ten. Two, one, and rest. Good, keep the left leg up top. Whew. And if you're like me, on one side, feel a little bit more confident than the other, just focus harder. Slow it down a little bit more. Just stay focused. Left leg lunge, let's go.
Good. Think of all that work we did in tier one. Stabilization, I'm going there as well. Core is in control. Three, two, one, good. All right, curtsy. Keep the left leg here. Go back and lift up. Ready? Four, two, one, let's go. Nice work. Eight, breathe as you lift. Four, two, one, good left leg. All right, round two, grab water if you need it. We'll go again in 10. Starting off with your left leg deadlift. You're doing amazing, here we go. Two, one, and we're off. Fight for it, 15 seconds. Five, two, one, rest. Good. Left leg, reverse lunge. Great work. Stay with me. This will be reverse lunge, left leg, round two. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good. Curtsy to lateral lift. Keep the left leg down. We're lifting the right. Four, two, one, let's go. Good work. You should be feeling it. This is totally normal. You should really be pushing right now. We've isolated our legs for a pretty good amount of time here. Finish out round two here. We close it out with one more time on the left leg. Then we move on to some core. Two, one, great job. Good. All right, left leg stays for the deadlift. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Five, three, two, here we go. Good, shift your hip back, squeeze it forward. Oh, come on, 10. Three, two, one, good, rest. Whew. Good work, reverse lunge here, and then the curtsy and lift, then we move on to core. Stay with me, remember we're staying present, four, Three, two, let's go. Ten. One rest, good. And the last round, curtsy to lift. Then we take a breather. Here we go, four, three, 
two, one, and here we go. Heel lifts. Good job. Glute on this side, you'll be feeling it too, right? Stabilizing. 15. Two, one, and rest. <laughs> Great job. All right. You've got 45 seconds rest. Grab some water, and we're gonna lay down on the floor for an ab circuit. My sock is sliding down into my shoe, so grab water while I fix my sock. <laughs> and we're gonna end up laying down on our back for three different ranges of motion. Okay, you've got a single leg tuck, you've got a full sit up, and you've got a crunch. All right, so grab my towel here. I'm gonna grab my 10 and 15 pound dumbbells. All right, so we first go with single leg alternating tucks, okay? So we're here, you're gonna open, tuck one. Open, tuck over the shin of each one. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my 15 and we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's go. And I want you to try and keep your dumbbell, your arms locked at 90 degrees. Dumbbell, <coughs> excuse me, dumbbell right over your forehead. So as you sit up, there's resistance. Six. Two, one, good. Now, dumbbell straight up over your chest. And you're going here, up, tap the low back, and up. Okay, if you need to go all the way down, you can. To advance it, just tap the low back. Let's go. So you can see knees are bent when I'm upright. My hips roll back to tap, and then I shoot straight up from here. Good. Eight, seven. Three, two, and rest. Heels on the ground, now you're gonna crunch. Okay, just lifting the shoulder blades up. Heels can stay down, you go in three, two, exhale, go. Two seconds up and down. One, two, one, two. 15. Five. And rest, good. Single leg crunches. Whew. Or tucks, I said all the way up. Ready? Four. Round two, let's go. Three, two, one. Good, 15. Six, five, three. Two, one, rest. Whew. All right, lower back taps. So dumbbell is here, you're all the way up. Roll the hips back as you crunch, right back up. Two, one, let's go. The modification is there. If you're not ready for this, you roll down and come back up, okay? Fifteen. Six. 
three, two, and rest. Great job. Crunches. Five, three, two, let's go. Good, make sure you're not just pulling your chin down to your chest and trying to roll into a ball. Trying to get your chest diagonal towards your knees. 10 seconds. Three, two, last round through, let's go. Single leg crunches. Go up and wait if you can, go down if you need to. Five, three, dumbbell up, two, one, let's go. We go in six, just the top half if you can. Three, two, let's go. Crunches, last one. And then we move on to a little bit of upper body. All right, crunch it up, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Fight for it, come on. Seven. And rest, good. I couldn't talk on that one, sorry. Whew. Big deep breath and grab some water. Whew. We've got some back work here. Single arm rows, so we're gonna go left arm row, right arm row, and a back fly. Okay, good way to support yourself on these rows is to bring another dumbbell here or a bench, okay, and stabilize yourself here, all right? Okay, or you can put your hand on the edge of a rack or something like that, okay? So left arm row, right arm row, back fly. That's your next circuit, okay? Just in case you didn't notice, we are well over halfway through this workout. Okay, so let's keep rocking. Left arm is first, we go in three, two, one, come on. Good, make sure your shoulder doesn't come towards your ear first. Okay, you're taking your elbow back. And if it's too heavy for you to do that, drop the weight. Okay, if you're having to go, ugh, that's too much for you right now. Two, one, rest, same thing on the other arm. Okay, if you can't take your elbow straight back first, just naturally without popping or without lifting, shrugging, drop the weight. Elbow goes back, two, one, come on.
15. Two, and rest, good. Back flies, okay. I'm gonna grab my two tens. All right, we're here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, let's go. Take your dumbbells out away from each other, then squeeze back. Okay, feel the difference in Taking them away, then squeezing, versus just squeezing. Okay, out, then back. Good, five. Rest, good. All right, let's go, round number two. Whew. Left arm, row. You can stand up for this. You can put your hand on a bench. Let's go. Fifteen. Five. Two, one, good. Whew. Other side. Ready, seven, stay focused here. Three, two, one, come on. Fifteen. Three. And rest. Good job. Back flies. Here we go. Remember, out, then back. Okay, keep the control. Four, two, Let's go. Ten, nine. Great job. Whew. Okay, last round right here. I'm gonna grab my wrist strap here. All right, left arm, ready? Two, one, let's go. Seven, three, and rest. Whew. Great job. I'm not sure I love these wrist straps, but it gives me a little bit of assistance on my grip. All right, right arm, ready? Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Two, one, and rest. Great job. Back flies. Let's finish it off. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, 
Come on. Nice work. Fifteen. Three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Amazing work. All right. Grab some water. We're moving into our two final circuits. Three exercises, 45 seconds each. <sighs> two of those. So first up, we pay attention to the glutes. We've got a glute bridge circuit. B stance left, B stance right, and then isometric hold. So grab your sweat towel. Lay it down so you don't slide around, if you're like me. Okay, B stance just means a little bit of a stagger. Okay, so you're thinking half of a shoe length. So if my toe was in the arch of my shoe, that's how far apart my feet should be in terms of the variance in positioning. Okay, so not here, nothing drastic. So B stance, we start with the left leg. Left is gonna be closer to our body. Right leg is about a half of a shoe length ahead. Okay. Hands can be here, or you can have a dumbbell bridge here. Okay, let's go in five. Two, one, and we're off. So the leg that's closer should be doing more of the work, but both legs are working. Good job, 45 seconds here. We're switching up on these last two big circuits. Big muscles involved, a little bit more work time. We got this. Ten more seconds. Two, one, good. Now you just switch your feet. So left goes further away, right goes back. Again, you're just about a half of a shoe length difference. Okay, your right leg, totally normal. Left leg is just a little extended. Let's go. Great job. Keep breathing. I know we're working for longer. You gotta breathe throughout. Squeeze the cheeks together, dig the heels in, lift. Three, two, one, good. All right, dumbbell is optional for this next one. Isometric hold, so feet are even. You're just lifting up, squeezing your glutes together. Ready? Two, one, and here we go. Good, glutes together. Hold, hold, hold. 45 here. If you're using a glute resistance band, fine. If you're using body weight, also fine. Dumbbell, also fine. Just squeeze hard together. Great job. 20 seconds, second half of this one. Squeeze a little harder. Ah, there you go. You can make any weird noises you need to. Trust me, they're totally accepted here. Good job, eight. Come on, stay here. Squeeze harder for three, two, one. Good, rest. And let's go, round number two. Same thing. All right, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. Five seconds, we go together. Moxie. And let's go.
Come on, push, push, push. Fifteen. Five, four, two, one, good, rest. And you're gonna switch that stagger. Whew. Good work, you're still with me. You're doing fantastic. Today is all about strength. So push hard, get into that place where you're going harder than you think you can. Let's go. Good, come on, let's go, keep it up, squeeze high. Think about your belly button, staying neutral. Glutes come up and under. Ten. Four. Two, one. Good, and we go for that ISO hold. Water if you need it. Whew. Four, two, one, hold it up, let's go. Good job. So let's check in with your body. Your weight should be up around your shoulders, your shoulder blades more specifically, okay? Chin shouldn't be overly extended away from your chest. It should be about tennis ball length away or an egg. Okay, ribs are not flared up to the sky. They're actually pulled neutral right in line with your hips. Belly button, same thing, not lifting up to the sky. It's neutral spine, hips rolled back, glutes from the very tip top of your butt all the way down, squeezed together. Okay, knees neutral with the hips. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Last round, can you go up? Can you, think about it. You wanna try? Let's go. Seven, start with that stagger. B stance, left leg is closest. Two, one, let's go. Come on, we're building these glutes. Get them stronger. This is how we do it. Good job, come on, give me 12, 11. Five, two, one, rest. Good. All right, switch your stagger. The other leg is closer to you now. Then we hit that isometric hold. We're almost there, come on. Three, two, and we're off. Truly think about the entire glute, not just the part of the glute closest to your leg. The whole thing, squeezing towards the other side. Good work, 20 seconds. Eight, seven, three, two, one, good. Whew. We've got the isometric hold, let's go. Last one, then we move on to some core, seven, Three, two, one, let's go. Good work, stay here. Stacked right over the glutes. The glutes are squeezing in. Heels are on the ground, toes are on the ground, the whole thing, not just your heels. 
Good, squeeze harder. Squeeze harder. Come on, last 20 seconds, hold that squeeze. Don't release it, don't let your hips fall. 10, nine, stay here. Squeeze, 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 come on. Four, three, two, one, and drop it slowly. Be careful and whew, grab some water. Amazing work. Now we're gonna rock into this next circuit pretty quickly. Core, 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 okay? You've got jackknives, alternating, or together if you can, bicycles, and reverse crunches. Jackknives, if you're ready for it, the option is there to go. See how my low back rolled down to the floor first? Here, two legs, or one leg opposite. We're going there in 10, nine, Ready? Three, two, let's go. 45 seconds here. Try to keep your arms beside your head. Fifteen more seconds, come on. Eight. Two, one, rest. Hand support your head. Don't pull on your neck, it just supports it. Okay, I'm gonna crunch up. Bicycles, nice and slow with a heel tap out there with the straight leg. Ready? Two, one, come on, twist over, over. crunch. Feel free to hold a dumbbell between your legs. Okay, if you feel okay with it, right here. All right, we're gonna tap, crunch. Ready? Two, one, let's go. You can also See, I've moved it down to my ankles. That's another option, it's tough. Keep your toes flexed up if you're doing that one. Five. Two, one. Rest. Whew. Oh no. <laughs> All right, back to the jackknives. In five. Two legs if you can, one if you need to, and we're off. Come on, this is round two. We're already in it. Seven. Two, one, good. 15 seconds. Breathe and we go bicycles. Whew. 
You're doing great, guys. Five bicycles, tap that straight leg. Three, two, one, come on. Twist, twist. I'd love for you to switch in mid-air like this. Okay, instead of taking it down and then come up, try and switch. As you push one, you pull one. Good, I do want this slow control though. Fifteen. Ten. Six. Two, one, rest. Oh, good job. Reverse crunch with the dumbbell if you would like. I'm gonna try and put my towel over my ankles. I think that will help make it a little bit more comfortable. Oh yeah. Ready? Two. One, let's go. Good job, 15. Four, three, two, one, and rest. And you've got 15 seconds. And we go all the way through on this one without stopping. And you're done. Okay, five seconds. Big deep breath. Here we go. Two, one, jackknives, and we're off. Good work. One rep at a time. All these chickens, all these moments, begging me for affection. But just like the dog, and I live from that to selection. Never hugs or connections. I just can straight and reject them. I'll make my snake go down. That's it. 15 more seconds, and without stopping, you go two bicycles. Nine. Five, two, one, hands behind or head, your head or beside. Come on, 45, right here. Come on, crush it, crush it, you got it. We've got it. In this moment, it's burning and it's so easy for you to slow down. Not us, not today. Five seconds, go, go, go. Four, three, two, heels on the ground, pull them up. Reverse crunch. This is it, let's go. You're almost there, come on, come on. 15. Five. Three, two, one, and rest. You have made it to your cool down, amazing job. I've got a minute with you left here. So flip over onto your glutes, seated position. Legs are straight out, let's fold. Right here, just breathe. Whew. Amazing, amazing job. We're into the second half of summertime, fine everyone, and I know this has not been an easy challenge so far. But I know this week, 
I had a lot of uh, people tell me there was a reflection point going to the second half of Summertime Fine where they thought, you know what, no matter what has happened so far, this second half, it's up to me. Come on over to your hands and knees. Shift your hips back, second half. It is totally up to you to recommit, to rededicate yourself. Okay, come on up, tabletop position. Drop your hips down. You don't have to undo anything that you've done. You just have to move forward doing the best that you can. You can't undo anything. You can't overwrite something that you ate with running more. You can't undo calories. It's just not a healthy relationship. And I want you to be in a place where you're eating in a way that fuels your body. You feel good, you work out good, you sleep well, okay? Tuck your toes down, lift your hips up, drive the heels to the floor. If you're here right now, you're here for a reason. Maybe you're meant to hear this message, right? Maybe this message is exactly for you. You don't have to undo anything that you've done, but you're in complete control of everything that is to come. Walk your hands back to your toes. Good, hang out right here for just a second. Wrap your hands behind your legs and pull your chest a little closer to your quads. And then bend your legs, slowly roll it up. All right, amazing work today. I don't know about you, glutes, abs. My body is feeling so strong. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for stepping up to the plate on this challenge today. Whether it was something you were excited about or something you weren't so excited about, you did it regardless of where you stood at the starting point. And like I said, maybe you're meant to hear this message today. You can't undo what you've done, but you're in complete control of what is to come. Okay, so put your dedication right out here in front of yourself today and say, this is my choice. This is my journey. When I'm in the mood, I'm gonna do it. When I'm not in the mood, still gonna do it. I'm still gonna show up because I'm dedicated, because I'm in control of everything that is to come. Okay, learn from yourself, be the best version of yourself and be grateful for that version of yourself every day. Be grateful for all versions of yourself every day. Remember, you can't undo anything you've done, but you're in complete control of everything to come. So let's crush it together. I'll be here for you every day. Make sure you're commenting, make sure you're sharing the workout, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up right over here and then subscribe to the channel right below the video. Make sure you've clicked on the bell notification so I can let you know what your next workout is. Check out everything in the description below. I just love to help you in any way that I can and I will see you right back here tomorrow. Great job today. Bye everyone. <laughs>